Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, last video we left off with, uh, I just put the headrest up here to get it uh, uh, in position so that we can paint the brown on the back side. I just put kind of one coat of green and went the opposite direction instead of doing the brown first. I did the green first and uh, it's definitely only going to take a couple coats of green because that first coat covered like really well. Um, so we'll put the brown. I'll get these uh, marked here, but it's too cool. Um, it's too cool to paint, so I'm gonna have to wait a while um, for it to warm up a little bit in here. But what I'm gonna do, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start covering the stab. So I'll kind of clear some space here to uh, to get that going. And then uh, we'll get uh, the iron warmed up, which takes like a minute, and we'll be uh, we'll be ready to roll. All right, so I got the I got the fabric laid out where uh, where it will uh, overlap in the middle, um, it overlaps without any trouble. So what I'm going to do now is I've just kind of got it loosely um, in place here where it's going to go, and. Uh, that's just a crease right there. And then uh, what I'll, I'll take my ruler. I'll just take my ruler and kind of mark. I'll mark where this is going to get cut. Uh, basically, I'm going to cut it where we have almost this full center section of overlap. So, uh, so we'll draw a line there. Get a pencil here. So we'll get this line drawn here. So that one will get cut there. And then we'll lay this one over. straighten it out and then uh, that one is basically going to get cut over here And that'll be the order. We'll glue that one down, and then we'll lay this one over top. We glue that one down, and uh, I needed to ask this question of David this morning at uh, team, just because I I wasn't quite sure myself. But uh, it's certainly it makes sense to me. But what you do is you you put glue on all the ribs, um, and then after you shrink everything, then you put your glue down through the fabric and attach to uh, attach to your ribs. So, um, but you get it shrunk first. So I'm guessing with the iron, you want to stay off the rib in the beginning and do these open areas so that the fabric is all pulling across those, and then you uh, and you come back and uh, hit those with the iron. So we're one piece on the top side, and we're we have a seam on the bottom. Uh, we'll do this seam with a three inch piece of tape. We'll do three inch tape all the way around. And uh, yeah, so let me get this cut and we'll get this kind of, uh, uh, we'll start, start gluing this on. So I went ahead and uh, I made my marks on the, uh, on the tail cone here where my brown is gonna go. So, uh, I had it matched up to the fuselage, so I'm going to go ahead and paint a coat of that. I might as well have that drying while I'm working on uh, working on everything else. So,
All right, we'll let that uh, we'll let that dry while we're working on uh, while we're working on this fabric over here. All right, so let's get this cut here. trim that after I get this part done. So we want to do this one first on that side. Do this right side first. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glue and I'll go uh, I'll go around and apply glue to all of my surfaces here without disturbing the fabric. I'm just going to leave it right where it is. smooth it out just a little bit. So everywhere we're going to attach the fabric, um, I'll get glue on it and then we'll let, that, uh, we'll let that dry and then we will tack this fabric in place and uh, once it's uh, tacked in place then we can, uh, we can come back and uh, take our glue down through the fabric except for just on the perimeter and then we're going to shrink the whole thing after that dries and uh, after it shrinks, we'll go back and we'll attach our fabric to the ribs. So, all right, let me get some glue. All right, I'm going to give that a few minutes to set up over here. And uh, as soon as these uh, little wet spots get dry, um, uh, I'm gonna continue that process. But for now, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna actually paint, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the next green coat um, on here. And the brown, fortunately, is uh, drying really fast. So I'll get the, get the green coat on and then we will keep uh we'll keep rolling on this while we're working on this and once i get that painted i'll actually be able to um 
uh, get it installed in place. I do need to sandblast my little brackets um, <clears throat> and get those uh, primed and painted. So before I can mount this, I got to get that done. So I'll probably work on that at the same time. Um, some other things I wanted to do before I get too far um, is uh, I want to get the landing gear painted, um, which will be really great. Uh, I need to get my axle painted because it's just still in its raw steel form right now. Um, it's just hanging out back here. <laughs> and uh, that needs to be uh, sanded and uh, primed and painted and everything. So we'll keep that handy so we don't forget that. Surprised to see some rust on it. There might have been some water that was leaking back here. Not sure, but anyway, I'll take care of that. But I need to get that done as well. And uh, um, so I have plenty of steps um, that I can be working on all at the same time. So uh, right now I'm going to get some green paint on the roller and we're going to jump to that real quick. All right. on this side of the whole perimeter here and now I will uh, get some glue on this center section here. I need to uh, I need to do this so that I can get my overlap. I'm not going to wipe this one off because I'm actually trying to overlap another piece of fabric on top of it. If this was going to be the finish, uh, the finish section, I would, uh, of course, wipe it off. So. Actually, I changed my mind. I am, I am going to wipe it off because I really like the fact that I can force this glue down through the fabric. And so I'll wipe this coat off and then I'll actually come back with another coat over top of it after this one dries just a little bit.
All right, so now that I've gotten uh, gotten this far, the, uh, by the time I got back around, this is actually ready for some, some uh, glue, so I can, uh, I can now get my glue on here. All right, so now we'll iron down the, uh, iron this one down on the stone edges here. All right, so now I'll go ahead and get the uh, perimeter, get the perimeter glued over here, and then once that dries, um, then we can uh, flip it over and uh, and go to the next step. All right, so I've just uh, now I've trimmed the trimmed the fabric here, and uh, just I've got glue on the back on the back of the uh, stab here. So now I'm just going along and and I'm tacking this in place before I. Uh, Put the glue on it. I've got it hanging over my table so that I'm not near my fabric that's on the top side. So. All right, so I'm gonna get the rest of that glue on and then I'm gonna flip the whole thing over. Okay, so um, those of you who have been following me for a while, you know how I am about mistakes. I like to share them because it may prevent somebody down the line from doing the same thing that I just did. So I wanna make sure that I show it, so don't do this. Um, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking that with the fabric split, when I put the glue on the bottom of the stab I didn't put the glue on the top of the stab now that I've got this triangle on the top it uh, it's not liftable so you can only go so far and that's it that's all you can do you can't get enough fabric released where you can actually get the glue all the way to the front so I'm left without a choice but to split it um, so I'm going to have to split it here, and then I'm going to end up with a, uh, well, basically I'm going to, I'm going to end up with a two inch, uh, two inch seam, uh, three inch piece of tape, not two inch, three inch piece of tape across the, uh, across the top as well, which is not that big of a deal. It would have been much cleaner like this. Um, 
but uh, I'll capture that center section with uh, three inches and um, and we'll be good so it's a uh, it's kind of a kind of a bummer but um, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to do it so that's the I mean I could wick glue down in here but I am not gonna get the uh, finish and the guarantee that I've got an adequate amount of glue on the uh, on the ribs and everything so I'm really gonna have to uh, gonna have to split it so that's what I'm gonna do all right so I split it and I have glue on here now so now all I got to do is a uh, is uh, pull it tight uh, pull it over and uh, get it attached and then we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll be in good shape so uh, I was trying to prevent a tape but but that's okay Just start in the middle here and tack that. Work my way to the to the root here. All right, so I'll get the uh, I'll get the other side over. I'll get it all ironed down, and then I'll get the glue on it. And then before I shrink anything, I'm gonna get that tape on that three-inch tape. I'm gonna let that completely dry. Um, and I may have to just I may have to just barely shrink this a little bit uh, before I do that. I'll figure that out. Maybe just a really light shrink on that, just on the edges there. Allow me to get that tape on there. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I've got this glued uh, all the way around now, and I'm uh, just kind of waiting for it to dry really good, and then I'll be able to actually shrink it. Now, what I did here is I came in and I attached a two inch tape over that seam and, and made sure that this center section here was attached really well. Um, and I'll go back and try get on that one more time here. I just wanted to make sure that's attached really well to that center member. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shrink everything. And once it's uh, once it's shrunk. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a three inch tape over the whole seam. I believe up here I have plenty of capture area, so it wasn't really necessary to put the two inch tape all the way. So I just stopped, uh, stopped right there um, because I had that much 
that much area attached. So no concern there. Um, next thing will be to shrink this. I'll start with the bottom, of course. Um, and then once I get that, then I can uh, go ahead and keep moving forward with uh, what I've got here. So all right, the uh, stab gets a uh, three inch finishing tape, leading edge, all uh, tips, trailing edge, uh, center section, and then that'll be uh, that'll be it for that. And uh, let's see, what else was I going to do? I was getting ready to jump to, uh, I need to cut out the seatbelt holes in my uh, headrest. And then I was gonna find my brackets, um, which I think are in the second drawer. Just so happens that was the third drawer. Yeah, they're right here. And while I still have a little bit of daylight, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sandblast these and get them uh, out there um, and get them, uh, get them painted, get them primed so that I can get them painted. <laughs> yeah, and get them installed. Um, I'll have to try and keep track of the, uh, try and keep track of where they're located. Um, my letters are going to get blasted off, so. Um, I will uh, have to make myself a little diagram so when I pull them out I'll be able to remark them. Um, okay, so um, let's go uh, let's go do that. Alright, so now I'm going to shrink uh, shrink the fabric on the bottom on the stab here, and uh, like I mentioned before, I'm kind of going to stay away from the uh, cross members so that the fabric can move, uh, and I'll just kind of start in the middle here.
Alright, so I'm going to work my way all the way to the other end. <clears throat> and then when I come back, I'll be hitting everything one more time. Alright, and then when I come back over it this time, I'm actually going to go ahead and shrink. I'm going to shrink right over top of the... Right over top of the ribs. Because I'm going to be getting those uh, attached. And then while we're working on the, the side, and we've got it, got it all shrunk and attached, um, I'm back with the, uh, with the glue. And I'm actually going to get the glue, um, I'm going to get it on these areas, these plywood, plywood areas. And uh, so we'll get it on. Just go ahead and attach it to the gussets. And then I'm gonna run uh, run some glue, some full strength glue right along these edges. And then we'll wipe that off as we go. Yeah, so um, I got this all, I got this all taken care of here. The top and the bottom are uh, are both done. Um, my uh, two inch, uh, two inch fabric here, uh, two inch tape worked out perfect. Um, no issue there, and I'll actually cover that again with a three inch tape. Um, so this is uh, looking really good. But uh, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, checking out the video and. Um, uh, to all the new subscribers and there's actually quite a few of you uh, I think we actually hit 800 today so um, that's uh, very humbling and uh, and it inspires me that so many people are interested in what I'm doing here so yeah um, uh, if you're not a subscriber I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you can follow along you don't miss any of these and I will catch you later